Hi, I'm John McAuliffe, Chief Marketing Officer of VFM Leonardo, and welcome to the VTV channel. <clears throat> VTV is a weekly series of interviews with industry experts on the latest topics in travel e-business, and specifically online merchandising practices that help hoteliers extract more value out of their online presence. As always, we encourage you to email us at vtv at vfmleonardo.com to suggest topics that you would like us to cover in future episodes. Today, I'm joined by Robert Cole, the founder of Rock Cheetah. Rock Cheetah provides hospitality marketing strategy and travel technology management advisory services to the global lodging and tourism industries. Robert has worked with hotels, resorts, destinations, and online travel agencies to align their marketing strategies with the most effective technologies. Robert, thank you for joining us on VTV. Thank you, John. It's great to be here. Uh, our topic today, Robert, is all around uh, a, uh, a program that you have developed called a holistic approach to travel. And in it, you outline seven steps to successful travel e-business. Can you first help us understand uh, what you mean by a holistic approach to travel? Sure. Really, when you look back at the development of, of the internet and really its application to travel, at the beginning, everyone was very excited to just get product online. And, and essentially, the focus was booking. Um, wasn't a lot of merchandising involved, that sort of thing. And then really, the really times changed, things got more sophisticated. And it really transitioned to more of a, a shop, look, book type perspective. Well, now, particularly with social media exploding and, and social networking, what's really happened is, again, the traveler and the travel experience has become much more sophisticated. So what I've really identified are, are seven stages of the travel process, which aren't necessarily undertaken by every traveler every time, but it, they are very, very important components of the process, and the various stages really break down particular areas that provide opportunities for a hotelier to specifically contact and communicate and engage with a guest at various points, either in their decision-making process, during travel, or post-travel when they're sharing that trip experience with, with their friends and networks. So, for example, the, the seven stages the first stage is, is inspiration, and that's really what is the fundamental motivation for the trip? Where should people be going? What should they be doing? That sort of thing. Uh, and I'll be very honest, I think the online travel industry has not been very good at the inspiration point. Um, certainly destination management organizations try to do it, maybe do a, perhaps a better job than some of the online, online groups and some of the hotel companies, but I think this is a tremendously important area to, to focus on. The second stage, once someone has gotten an idea for a trip and is inspired to, to go someplace, is research. So they start looking into, well, what are my options? I've decided I want to do this particular trip. There are lots of different alternatives in terms of activities, places to stay, things to do, different lengths of time, and they start going into that researching process. Again, the thing that I always remind my hotel clients and airline clients, any sort of travel industry service provider is your product is not always the key focus for that trip. People do not always travel purely to stay in the hotel or to sit in an airline seat. They're there to experience a destination and fundamentally in some cases even just interact with their fellow travelers who are in their in their party and enrich their lives. So the key is how can how can the hotel provide a lot of detailed information and tie in with the wealth of information that's available on these various destinations to really satisfy that research process. The third area gets into planning, which is a lot of people will, will put together with research, but I separate it. The planning really starts looking at the fundamental itinerary. They've, the research has developed, has really provided a variety of alternatives. The planning has then started to look into the time, the budget, and the sequencing of the various events that they're going to be do, doing. So fundamentally, the planning winds up with the actual travel travel itinerary. The next step, the fourth step, is, is really something that's, that's very unique and relatively recent with, so, with the emergence of social networking, and that's validation. Before, individuals would go to a travel agent, ask friends uh, about 
what they want to do and where they want to go, which is great. And people still do that. And those are, are certainly very, very important channels. Word of mouth is, is very important from close circle of friends. But now all of a sudden with social networking, that circle of friends just got significantly larger. With review sites, it got significantly larger. And all of a sudden these travelers can tap into a vast amount of information. And basically once they've worked out their itinerary, validate that yes, this is the right thing to do. I think I've made the right choices and then, then carry on with it. So the fifth step naturally following is booking. And booking has gotten very sophisticated. It's, it's reduced the number of steps, that sort of thing. But there are still some things that can make that process better. And what I would recommend to really all the hoteliers is to make sure that all of those things that were done in terms of the inspiration and research steps and all of that rich content that was provided to make sure that it's reinforced in the booking process. And it isn't this rich, engaging, immersive experience that's terrific in the, in the planning and the research and the inspiration they want to go. And then all of a sudden, boom, here's this flat two dimensional form that has to get filled out to, to actual, actually book. If you can continue that, uh, capturing the guest's imagination and providing them with with really what they can expect as the experience through the booking process i think most will most hotels will see better conversion and also uh, upsells and really higher revenue retention the most important stage is obviously the sixth stage which is the travel itself and really with all the focus on social media yes it's very very important but the by far most important experience is the product that the hotel is providing and the service delivery system to make sure that the services and the engagement with the guest when they're traveling on site at the property is what you've promoted through all of the various stages and you have consistency through your messaging of of what experience the guests can expect and delivering that experience when they arrive. Ideally, you would even want to exceed the expectations, and that is when you really wind up getting benefit from the last stage, which is stage seven, which is sharing the post-travel experience. People go back and they may they may tweet about it during their travel. They may write a blog post about it. They may comment on a review site. There are now huge numbers of, of vehicles and, and tools for that traveler to promote your hotel very, very effectively on your behalf at very, very low cost, as long as that travel experience is done is done well. Certainly, um, using your stages, Robert, uh, there's a lot of activity that happens before someone actually even books something. Uh, thinking in the online world, how can hotels ensure that they reach their travel shoppers at uh, every stage of, of, of your holistic uh, approach um, effectively? Well, there, there are a variety of ways. I'm certainly in terms of, of active participation, in terms of, say, the review sites, reviewing that when people do have negative comments about the hotel, taking those to heart, modifying the operation if possible, or certainly engaging with the customer, commenting back, and making sure that, that the travelers can see that, that you as a business are interested in the customer and that's your primary focus and that you're doing everything you can to provide them with a great experience. So there are numerous channels to, to do that. Also engaging with the destination, um, be it either with the hotel association, what they're doing to promote on site through the, on various websites through their efforts or the destination sites to engage with those and to work on a cooperative basis with them to, to make sure that, again, you are presenting your hotel as a fundamental, important part of that destination is absolutely critical because, again, you don't control your customer. The customer now has complete control of where they go, how they navigate. They go now to a dozen websites, possibly in the process of researching their trip. So the hotel needs presence really throughout all those variety of media that that individual may be considering. And again, the richer their content can be provided, the more persona centric, which would be tailoring that, that content to the specific purpose of the trip. If it's a romantic getaway for a couple, if it winds up being a trip with a family, if it's business oriented meetings, whatever the, the particular market segment may be is looking through all those channels and making sure that the, the content store that the hotel has developed is really producing the proper information and the proper content to those various distribution outlets so it can be presented 
in a, a in the proper context for that particular trip. So it may be a meeting planning site for an association that it's the annual meeting. That's great. There's certainly methods to provide very good content for for those groups so that traveler can make very good decisions. And who knows, they may decide to upgrade to a, a superior deluxe room or even a suite based on the information that you're providing. All right, so one of the, your first stage was one that um, uh, you called inspiration. Uh, in your opinion, is there any particular content that is most effective at uh, inspiring travel shoppers uh, to move uh, your hotel, if you will, uh, onto the shopping list? Well, they, they say a picture is worth a thousand words. I would say video is worth a thousand images in many cases where you can really provide a, a tremendous experience. Um, a great example that I saw recently, um, Intercontinental Hotels, some of the properties in Mexico did really a get to know the destination with the concierge. So all of a sudden you had a face with the property and it was, it was not a high budget sort of, um, sort of task. It was really someone with a webcam communicating with that with that individual saying, hey, here we are at the at the city square. Here we are at a main attraction and really pushing all of the main unique selling propositions of the hotel, which may be the particular particular location of the property, the services they're providing, um, recreational aspects, and really all the various things that that hotel can provide to the to the guests. And I thought they were tremendous because it provided a face for the hotel. It was very engaging and provided some very, very good quality information on not only familiar, helping familiarize the guests with the destination, but how that hotel could make their trip to that destination great. And also position the hotel and that um, particular, say, the concierge, as an expert on the destination and someone who can be trusted and relied on to, to help that traveler gain the best, the best vacation or, or corporate trip, whatever it may be, um, for whatever their objective may be with that, with that uh, particular travel itinerary. Robert, thank you very much for sharing with us your holistic approach to travel. Uh, we um, appreciate you uh, coming to VTV and uh, and uh, imparting your knowledge with us. Thanks very much. It's a pleasure. To all the viewers out there, be sure to post your comments on this episode of VTV and subscribe to our feed to receive more valuable insights from industry experts.